Hello and welcome to Turn 7 Racing GT3 Pro-Am Series. We're here at Mount Panama Bathurst. With Vincent Van Damme. We qualified right in the middle of the pack. Uh, we're here to survive, not to race. This is a survival day. You can see a couple of rows in front. The blue and orange car on our left there. Three faster That's... pairs must be expecting some eruptions. That's Paul Kerry who just spoke. That's kind of silly to have three fast. We do indeed have three fast repairs. I don't want these tires. I may need them. I not may, I will definitely need them. All right, Elise, let's get this right. No fuck ups. Green, green, green. Okay, green, green, green. Let's try and survive our first lap up the mountain. I've uh, raced quite a bit in the skippies here over the years and it'll be returning this season and of course my 40th birthday Start right. here time to get stuck in in the four GTE no safety cars being called that's a good sign <clears throat> Here's the moment of truth, we're going down the mountain. Okay. There's an incident in. Forest's elbow. We think it might be. Pro, yellow flag. Watch out. No, it didn't affect us. Probably just a bit of a bump from that. Oh, that was nerve wracking. Thanks. Tires usually take a lap and a half here from experience to start to begin to warm up. So I'm going to assume two laps in the 60 minute race. There's an incident in the chase. It looks like it's pro. Yellow flag. Watch out. Sorry, Mark. We think P2 has gone off in Murray's corner. Well, that was the person who qualified in P1. He's having a bit of a time of it. P19. That was a bit of a shaky rejoin in my opinion, but uh, we'll see what the cameras say. Best time here is my qualifying time, actually. My best time in a GT3. Got a PB, 205.6 or 5.8 or something like that. Won't be doing anything like that in the race. Too much at stake and too much fuel and tyre wear here at Mount Bathurst. Mount Panorama, Panama, Pan, Pan, Pan Bathurst. <laughs> Dipper incident in the S's. It looks like oh, Grainer. Gregory Hove. Like, keep your wits about you, mate. Jonas Grainer. Looks like those nerves settle down. I don't know Vincent Van Damper. I think this is his first race. If uh, 
my brain is functioning. Damien Lavange, very quick. Uh, Rasmus Grainer and I have done quite a bit of racing here in this series. End up near each other a fair amount. Oops, missed the my apex there. There's the yellow flag, it means slow down, dude. has just done a 207.48 good to know I've got crew chief keeping tabs on Paul Kerry I'm also driving on difficult mode as I had my intramuscular testosterone be gone uh, injection today Um, so that hurts like hell. My left arm is throbbing. Feels like I've been punched several times. So, not making life easy here for myself. I think the, uh, the injection itself is a solution that gets mixed on site. There's a powder into some kind of fluid. I don't know what it is, the fluid. Saline, presumably, but I don't know. Anyway. The, uh, the end result is that, uh, one second, going downhill. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 2.0 seconds. So the end result is sometimes little lumps form and uh, those lumps are big enough to go through the syringe they use for intramuscular injections which I thought were a little bit bigger than intravenous veins uh, um, intra intravenous needles and so yeah you get these little lumps and you feel them going in it's really it's painful nurse did do a great job I'm trying to, you know, make it as smooth as possible. I don't blame her at all. Kerry just posted up 207.00. Oh. Didn't get that tone right. You've just done a 208.83. That's your quickest lap in this session. I was in front of racing pretty close, there might be an incident there, so I might be quite glad to be back a couple of seconds. But I don't want to drop off their pack too much. But nice to be in a little bubble here. <laughs> A lot less stressful. Today's Thursday that I'm doing this race and this is going to be one of my last Sprint GT3 races for a while. I don't know why I broke there. And there is a reason for that which I'll go into after we go downhill which requires a little bit of concentration. So the, um, this championship, the season ends uh, next week, I think. There's a special event the at now, two the two Nürburgring GP circuit, I think. And, you know, I haven't really connected with this car. I've done GT3 and GTE races the last couple of seasons. Well, GT3 mostly last season and this season. And GTE just this season. And... I don't know, the car never really connected me. I don't feel the car clicking in some way. Um, you know, I get in any open wheeler, it seems, and I have a whale of a time. That was a 207.76. Sectors 2 and 3 are 1.2 off the pace. Sector 1 is 1.2 seconds off the pace. 
I need these GT3 cars, not so much. So I'm probably not going to do another GT series next season. However, I'm going to be looking at starting a new open wheeler series. Which you'll have to wait to see all about. Is reeling you in. The gap's now 2.0 seconds. Oh god, it's macro behind me. Okay, so he was doing two or threes. Our refueling window will open after 17 minutes and closes after 39 minutes. He's not catching as quickly as I thought he would. Maybe he's got damage. Oh, there we go. It's probably all in the downhill section. Still a bit of fighting up ahead, that's good to see, Gaps as I'm catching them up. Ahead is now one. Thanks Andre. Good to have another battle with Rasmus. Don't want to mount that curb, thank you very much. All right. Let Matt throw. Okay, stay with him. Uh, and that's not going to happen, but. Sure, what's happening with Matt? It seems to me, but maybe his car's got that damage, and his car's not quite doing what he wants it to. Or maybe the line is just different than I thought it was. Who could say? Uh oh, wasn't pointing in the right direction there. Bed Cullen behind as well. I qualified ahead of Ben, <clears throat> so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happens with him. Maybe he just doesn't get on with this truck. Front is now 1.3 seconds. He mentioned before the race he wasn't happy with his setup, so maybe it's just that. Of course, Ben Cullen, with an unhappy with the setup, is probably still more consistent than me. This is a bit shit. Come on, make it less shit. 18th. Wow. It's a bit rude, crew chief. in front of us is Green Air. Cullen is closing the gap. It's now 2.0. Someone hit a wall. This is insanity. 
in first gear there just, just trying to chill out after passing lap traffic on the mountain thanks Mika yeah that was tough work there Mika you made it work well though thanks The question is, can we keep up and pass Rasmus? Oh, well, not like that, we don't. Defending against Ben Cullen, thanks though. Too early. Uh, I don't have the skill. Oh, and then I'll just go wide at the cutting. Hello, all. We'll be meeting again, I'm sure. are going to be crying at me at the end of this. Almost killed Rasmus there. Rasmus, eh? P19. But uh, pulled a bit of a gap there on Dito. He probably had a bit of a wobble in the, uh, uh, the cl clearing, I think it's called. The last sort of chicane type of her. Hopefully the excitement will die down a little bit. Eleven. 
And it can just be me and Rasmus for a little while, seeing what can happen. It's pulling away a little bit disconcertingly enough. You've used half your fuel. We... 20 minutes into the race already. roll on that curve you're gonna get all sorts of out of shape the actor greener ahead is increasing it's now 1.4 oh he took a clunk there Being fastened someone downhill is not good for passing. <laughs> These races are broadcast at Turn 7 Racing. Twitch.tv, Turn 7 Racing. That's 7 the number, not the word. Oh, if you're halfway across the track like that. Ah, uh, you don't want to mount that. Difficult to see where you're going with a car right in front of you. It's not a skill I've ever developed in these cars. avoid that curb. I've not been doing a lot of that in practice. I don't know why I picked that away. I picked that habit up from. That's the slow way around. It's, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, Elise, you're reeling. Green air. The gap is now 0 0.32. Come on, nail this fucker. Thank you. Incident in the chase. You think it might be Dodd? 
Uh, our EP dad, he is a championship contender for the amateur class. I'm sure Paul Carey will be happy in the abstract, but sad for him as a rival. A friendly rival, that is. Oh, oh, no, no, come on. Oof. Put that line wrong. Been doing a lot of that. Okay, I'm gonna send it. Okay, I'm gonna send it. 